What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we are sieging St. Petersburg because they have fortifications, but they are going to sally out and attack us. We're going to uh, destroy their forces um, in the open field. So let's take them out. But yes, this is the start. Well, we have just started our war against the Russian Empire, and this will be the uh, the... Probably the last major, well, the, it, well, it is the last major war of this campaign because Russia is the only real challenge. There is one territory left under the control of the Ottoman Empire, but we are not probably going to get it in time. The Russians are already sieging it, so, yep. Ooh. So based on the Russian MO, they like to advance point blank range, and sh oh, this is perfect. They really like to um, bayonet charge you, seemingly, more, much more so than other factions do. So let's put four line infantry units plus a guard unit on one flank. Let's put my finished troops plus two foot guards on the right flank. My light infantry can't really form skirmish order which I which I would like keep them on the flanks 14 foot guards their job is to protect the six pounders split my cavalry up ah so the reason why I went oh this is perfect it's because I've got some low ground for my sixes and then on some high ground my twelves can focus on counter battery we may well end up needing to charge them but until then I'm going to do what I can from here. Glorious victories, huh? Everything so barrage. I mean, we may end up needing to charge anyway, because that's a lot of enemy guns. I mean, it would be nice. Well, it is nice that they're infantry advancing in front of the guns. Because they're focusing on... 6th Regiment. Yeah, they are very much a fan of... the massed charge. So I would take... this opportunity... to... whittle them down with artillery fire. Ooh, blast straight through the ranks of the 6th Grenadiers. Scoot my cavalry out wide. Very nicely. Looks like some of their troops are actually going to be stuck back here. They're not going to get involved till the end phases of the battle. Probably want my howitzers to focus on an actual musket unit. So you're blowing apart the 48th. I mean, that's a cavalry charge, but you're charging through your own guns. Big mistake. So you guys going to cease fire? Ooh, blasted two guys right off the saddle. But yeah, see, they're not going to actually get here in as a complete unit. Hey, we can actually hit them with canister shot. That's quite good range. Although none of the people that are close have managed to be killed yet. And that committed, they got their general to commit. Which is amusing. My grenadiers aren't forming up. Which they will need soon. I mean, their general's gonna get shot to pieces because they're not gonna charge. 
what generally happens is the general just stops. Oh man, blast the lances with canister shot. That downed a few cavalrymen. They're incredibly upset. Folks in the infantry to your front. Horse guards fall upon the militia on the flank. Probably going to be the same. Maybe use my light cavalry. But yeah, my artillery focus on close infantry support. Maybe get my guard cavalry to push up the flank. No enemies in the woods, well as far as we can see. Which means that you chaps can push up and fire into the flank of the advancing troops. So you men charge the militia. You guys are firing well off. Bayonet charge, well... Uh, barrage the six pounders. You men fall back. Enemy artillery is limbering up, so go for it. My horse guard's going to advance towards the 13th Lancers. Fold the flanks in. Yeah, you're going for the horse artillery. Yeah, that's not the sixth out of commission. Then go after the enemy artillery there. The lance has got the charge off, but they're broken. So let's trot the cavalry up. Enemy infantry are scrabbling to deal with this. Excellent. Keep the artillery going. Keep the cavalry going, rather. General, maybe general, is quite upset. Get my general up onto the left flank, so probably going to try and do some bayonet charges. Especially with the 16th... 16th uh, foot guards. You men commit. Fold the cavalry back they're very tired. My foot guards are charging the 32nd. Our general is under attack. I miss, it was danger close to uh, one of my guns. Push my infantry line up. So we broke the 34th regiment of foot quite nicely. Hit the 18th just to make sure they're done for. You men fall upon the 35th on the flank. Retarget the guns. You men go after that regiment of horse. Push my line up. Actually, just re actually re just re orientate my line. Heavy cavalry go for the general staff. So I'm pretty sure they're all dead. I'm pretty sure this general's dead. Bring them back. Push my heavy cavalry up to smash the 47th. To be honest, it all looks rather inevitable, really. You men about face and fire into their flank. Inspire your men! 
see if you actually I know I know those guys their morale was already flagging there we go the intention was to try and break it push my line up horse guards get ready to charge the 46th you men smack the 47th this horse guard unit do a long walk around the around the wood to make sure it's clear. Push up and begin the surround. Redirect my howitzers to fire into the center. Good hit though that will be. Perfect hit. Continue to surround. The horse guards are going to charge the 46th. Backed up by my light horse. These men are steady, but they're exhausted. Get all my gunners to focus on the 19th regiment all the way in the rear. Actually, no, probably not even that. Advance my cavalry up to meet the new threat. I doubt the 35th is likely to hold. Newman advance. I mean, the 19th light horse is going to have a grand old time. Take their standard. I wish that was a thing in this game, but it just isn't. You men charge the 19th. Hello. The men are fatigued, sir. It's I the 23rd regiment. I don't give a damn if they're fatigued. Destroy them. You men all just cease fire, pursue them, destroy them, gain some experience. You men are only winded. Should be enough to destroy this unit of militia because they're already shaken because they're exhausted. go. Nicely done. That is the force outside St. Petersburg. Well, the garrison of St. Petersburg significantly damaged. We haven't taken the city yet, but their ability to withstand us... God, they're down to 200 men remaining. I might just even demand surrender next turn. Ooh, hello. David Rubin. Okay, we can... we can play. We can play. So most of their forces are a bit depleted. They've got a bunch of artillery, but we can take that out. Um, pretty much I just want to deploy smart and knock out their guns, but just try and be a bit defensive in this one. So... There is no handy high ground. Except for maybe over here, but that's off the edge of the map. Very well. Let's deploy a six pounder here. Anchor. I want to anchor a left flank against this outcrop. Some grenadiers out on the right flank. Keep two infantry and a light infantry unit ready to hold the left. This okay. It's reasonable terrain for 12s. Put some grenadiers behind the six pounders. Deploy both the howitzers. 
down here to support the... Actually, maybe one deploy here. And as is tradition, split the cavalry. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. I mean, Count's Battery seems a bit of a futile task. Especially when they do actually outnumber me. Six pounder, twelve pounders. Okay, twenty pounders? No, twelve pounders. Let's go for the twenty, the twelve pounders. Let's put some cavalry out on the flank here to try to get some visibility on the left. How it's just sat here waiting for someone to shoot at. But we've got it now. Yeah, the 20 of the Lancers are getting stuck on these sappers. Oh, just let things. Things go the way and shoot what they're going to shoot at. To be honest, I might just go offensive again just because it seems to be the way the wind blows. Former front rank, get ready to advance. Six pounders. Limber up, probably deploy them somewhere else. Get Mr. London to support the right flank. Hello, got some visibility there, horse guards. Let's shift. I hope you're not picking up steam going bloop. Bloop, I hope you're not. So, yeah, they are attempting, they are attempting to push. Okay, you men run into the safety of that square. How it says focus on some of this infantry. successfully disrupted our deployment but it's gonna cost them commit my heavies and my lights to attack the horse guards we know there are enemies in the woods in front of us okay right we need to get Troops up into the fight. Sir. Sir. Our I mean, I may want attack. to limber my, have my guns ready to create a fallback line. Push my cavalry up on the flank. Right, I was about to bound to charge. But we are forming quite the uh, close formation. Let's advance. This is area attack. Probably behind the troops that are here now. Human form up. It's the enemy general there. New men withdraw. A 
If you men can withdraw to abandon... Oh no, okay, right. So you men form up again. Okay, you guys need to break off. To be honest, my Delta are really holding off that infantry. Yeah, they are. We're not holding off that infantry, that cavalry, I should say. Mass charge the 84th foot, because you guys are going to have a lot of business soon. These three units can begin to curve back around. Redeploy or retarget the howitzers. Charge in the cavalry. General's weapon ready. There's the enemy general, so we've got to be careful about how we approach this. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I'm sure they are, but they cannot be. Close enemy cavalry fire, yeah. Not just that cavalry charges, but also enemy cavalry being up to no good. General, get up here. In this case, you three men also push over here. These two units maintain cover. We repel the 19th Regiment. That's the, 20, that's the 62nd Regiment that are here. of routing because we've got lots of enemy units well lots of enemy units routing through their artillery I suppose you guys should try and stay inside of that mine a bit more oh that's probably going to be bad for us in the long run I thought those cavalry oh, I thought those dragoons might take a bit uh Longer to route. My six pounders push him over to the other front. My seven pounders here. Retarget light cavalry advance. Attack the horse guards. Bring my general over here as well. Winded. Actually, no, you guys fight off the lancers. You guys hit the enemy artillery. We need to make some room for these chaps to deploy. Light cavalry is routing, my heavy cavalry are engaging this 22nd. We'll be lucky because it's a bit of a race to see who wa who breaks first. Fortunately they're wavering, I'm still steady. But we're both exhausted. And my general's over here. Follow that battalion up through the breach. Both horse guards hit the six, hit the 79th. You men advance. These troops push around to the rear. Try and go for the enemy artillery crews. Horse guards try to hit the 79th. 
So the 43rd have pushed into the 62nd to try create some room for more of my troops on the right flank to deploy. Okay, so both of you guys are back. We are, you're here, not necessarily back. Okay, you men... Pursue them. These units pivot. Okay, right. You men actually form up. You're likely going to need to push through. Ooh, infantry regiment. You've lost half, you're at half strength though. Both of you men charge the 15th. You the men advance up to the next one. line. You men advance up behind them. A bayonet charge should, should see them all. Who's back here? The 59th, 3rd foot guards, 68th. Okay, good. They've been knocked out. It's done good to redeploy. Okay, good. That's the 32, to be honest. You guys, well, no, you... Stay where you are, actually. We'll try and push up the left of this feature. Although you guys might actually fall back and try and get on top of it. Although they may go around this way. I should send two of you around like so. You stay wide. men are making progress. Ooh, my howitzers. Bad. Bad howitzers. Pull the cavalry back. I mean, you guys should start to hit 68th when they get within range. So they're backed up with... Uh, just a gun crew. Get my general up here. To be honest, just bayonet charge them. Then send a few units up front. Another gun crew. There you go. So that's the 19th regiment. Should be going down. Plus that gun team should go down. Okay, so everyone. Form a new line that's going to advance. Cavalry. Go wide on the left. Horse guards. Push around to the other flank and also go wide. General push up the left. 43rd foot guards may have to attack the 3rd foot guards. I don't know why these guys are not picking new targets. Oh, who came back? 15th Regiment? Okay, Cavalry. Come back and deal with them. 
You men can try climb the heights. So the only advantage is my guys outnumber them and they're exhausted and we are only very tired. Push the flanks. You chaps need to run. My dragoons out wide. The men are fatigued, sir. Must Don't give a damn. Battle is here. Not oh, they broke. Charge the 59th. Let's take them out as well. Because the Russian swine appear to not want to give up. Yeah, you men come up, advances back up. Advance the horse guards. Uh. You men can make ready to fire at the 58th and do one kill. To be honest, it's awfully tempting to just do that. Charge you men to the back of the 68th. They worked out what's going to happen. Push up, General. We need your guiding hands. It's part of the challenge is a lot of these troops have already routed at some point in the past, so their morale is pretty poor. Blasted those men off their horses. And again. Nope, straight into that massive block of infantry. But they broke. They always break. Nice, that was a good action. That was a good, hopefully there's no more. I like a bit of a break, personally. Nah, they shouldn't try it. Nope, good stuff. Good, I mean, we're going to have a few battles to fight, because... Uh, Russia ain't gonna let us get off that easy. So in the south, you chaps bottle up ISC. I mean, you might just, we might fight it, but just not yet. You guys, ooh, handy. I forgot about this invasion. Demand the surrender of Odessa because the city is just empty. You guys are gonna push. Well, oh, you're pushing up to Ky Kiev. Uh, Get, oh, that's not our university, that's why we can't do anything about that. You are going to go... Oh, noise, okay. You guys are going to go secure... Actually, you guys might just push over towards Odessa as well. Because these guys... No! <laughs> because we've got a lot of troops here that can cover... Oh yeah, see, granted it'll take them some time to actually get into the area, but... They're right here. Then we've got the Russians here. A Ooh. These noises. You men. Push up to cover this bridge. Agent. That's going to look at Vilnius. Ripe for the taking by the looks of things. You chaps cover the gap. Something about going on. Something going on over here. So you men are replenishing two armies within range of Lemberg. You guys may even push up to like here. There we go. So they're all within range of each other. If you guys want to advance, Mr. Wingradsky. But yes, it's tempting to send three armies here. One to take Kiev, one to take Belgorod, then up to the north. To be honest, we're building up a bit of a head of steam now. Because you... 
demand the surrender of the city. Unfortunately, the army did escape. But if you men just destroy them outside there, we've probably lost fewer casualties doing it that way. St. Petersburg is actually happy with us. So we haven't even got to garrison the city. So, Mr. Breck, you can push west to threaten Riga. I mean, next turn we're going to be jumping Mr. Samuelson on to Mittau. Apart from that, though, everything's going pretty darn well. Although we probably are going to take Mr. Darlin's force and attack the garrison here at Iassi, because if we can take it, then we can push up towards Kam Kamenets, push up through these great forests up and towards Russian territory and potentially create a threat to the south that forces some of these chaps to redeploy. So, let us destroy this garrison force. A lot of skirmishes, not very many militia. Oh no, actually, oh, oh okay, they're fortified. Okay, no, bottle them up. Actually, yeah. It says breaches one. And we've got mortars. Now, bottle them up. We've got the troops nearby. We don't necessarily have to blitz through Iassi right now. That and the break from having a battle is rather tempting. Not to mention that, you know, chances are they will engage us somewhere regardless. So where will they mass their troops? Well, looks like they're massing them at Lemberg. Oh, perfect. They've gone back to Vilnius. Okay, so we've got a garrison that is sallying at Iassi. Let's do it. But yeah, they, they so those are those fragment stacks there retreated back to the city so we can siege them and trap them to prevent them from being too uh, frustrating and allowing them to sneak around our lines. It's very tempting to put artillery up here, but it's usually not a good idea because they can't fire down so well. I mean, granted, there isn't actually any better position. Uh, here's not too bad. Because you have to deploy so far back. Ah, uh, screw it. Let's do it anyway. This is going to be... So, Finska Militia. Finska Militia. Bjornborg in Delta... Whoever you like. My grand is going to go on the flanks anyway. We are going to be advancing. Good stuff. Everyone's formed up and ready. Howitzers are going to stay limbered up. Hussars and lifeguards on either flank. General in the centre ish. Advance towards the guns. To be honest, we're probably going to run. Just as my howitzers are going to unlimber. My guns barrage. The cavalry may well deploy. To try and wipe us out early on. Oh, that's a nice breach actually in the corner. Oh, and they've got lots of cavalry and stuff to the rear. How silly. I mean, they will have troops hidden. Yeah, do you know what he likes. There he is, hidden skirmishes. We're going to take this first, this first line. Let's make sure my general is actually close to the front. You men can fold your flank in against that core. You men are going to wipe out the skirmishers, and my horse guards can hold. Okay. 
you can see if you can break contact with that cavalry. As you can, so form a defensive square. Get my general up over here. No, general, no! There he goes. You men form square, allow the 54th to fall in. You men can't form square, my cavalry push in. This cavalry, this infantry formation wheel right. Ah, oh, this is going to cascade. Not in a good way either. So my cavalry have countercharged. So we formed up. You men bottle in the fill in the gaps. Oh no, my cavalry's not dead. Is that their cavalry? Yes, yeah, like the enemy general. Yes, I have hopes. Our men are running, sir. Counter charge my cavalry into their cavalry. Form square to anchor your flank. No, come on, heavy cavalry. Get in here against. Well, that's light horse. You men cease fire. You men have to charge the sixth. Victories, huh? I mean, you say yours. that. <laughs> now, you managed to charge the regiment of foot. Horse guards get in there and hit the enemy. Light cavalry hold. You men get out of square, form up behind this bayonet charge here. G-men both form squares because you've got cavalry coming in right now. Ah, general! You men have to push up into this melee combat. You guys hit that unit there. I'm not quite sure what my howitzers can do when they're firing canister shot, because it don't seem like it works. So you men push in here, that skirmish unit there. So you guys can form a line against the enemy troops to the rear. You men push up and attack the artillery. These infantry can charge the enemy because they are executing my gun crews who are just going to try and flee. Even push from this flank. Okay, right. We're hoping this this could have gone could have gone funky. Binska. Bayonet charge the 12th. Rally, inspire. Put Jaeger, your skirmishers, but go after the enemy all the same. New men push in for the woods. More cavalry. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Artillery are broken. Switch my one of my howitzers. Are okay, my twelves. Actually, my twelves engage seventeenth. Two of these units 
pursue the enemy. The remainder... Push up. Cavalry is advancing towards the last remaining enemy troops. You men all fall on them. Get my general over here. I mean, my foot jaeger should be pretty good at this because they're faster than regular infantry. So they will be able to chase down and destroy those units. Advance my cavalry to attack and destroy the 17th regiment. And this poor skirmisher unit. There we go. Dead enemy troops. Spin my cavalry around to make sure this is over as quickly as possible. Lest the enemy recover. So another enemy foot jaeger. But they're more than adequate for this task of breaking the enemy general and a skirmisher unit. See, there's a the unit that's come back. But they too are a skirmisher. We have killed their general, it's another general killed. Oh, then you've come back. See, this can be part of the problem of having units that flee too quickly. Ah, you'll be fine. So let's pick a handful of infantry form a line there. You guys come back towards these skirmishers who <laughs> they know what's coming. I mean all my cavalry is spent. My general's in good shape. But push up because we're gonna bayonet charge 32nd. Oh god they're everywhere. Skirmish units come back. Let's bring another horse guard unit back up here. Okay, you men pursue them. The 15th light horse push up this way. Okay. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I don't care. It's a light horse unit to come back to. God, they move so slow. And these guys are actually running away. Probably going to go after some cavalry unit. You always get fixated on the cavalry. The light horse charge the ground is. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I don't care. They can rest when battle is done. Stop my 12 pounders from firing. And by general's hedge to make sure these scallywags keep fighting, because they've all broken. Good. God damn, Russians. What about over here? Just use all my bonuses. My militia are going to charge the infantry and they broke immediately. My god, the flag just bats someone straight in the face. Finally. Ooh, Russians, Russians, Russians. They just don't quit. Ooh, they've sieged us. And they, are they going to fortify their position? I hope that last army runs away. City besieged Lemberg very well. 
new men are going to just auto that battle. Peacefully occupy. So Mr. Odegaard, push up to the bridge. Kurt von Stedink, push west. And Anders Skjöldebrand also push towards the bridge, towards Kamenets. You men push up to Mittau. Just demand the surrender of the city because there's no garrison. As far as we know, it's clear, but you're going to actually replenish on the front line. You're all in good shape. I mean, you're within spitting distance of Moscow. Let's see what happens first. If you get ambushed, you get ambushed. If you don't, you, if you don't, we push on Moscow. Awesome. So how goes City of Kiev? Definitely takeable. Can Mr. Zitzberg, who is now fully replenished, can he leave Odessa? Minus one, yes he can. You men push on towards Belgorod. You can destroy the university. You can f stand to push all the way up to here to maintain your replenishment. Torben Lunden. Can you guys, Peter Darling, can you leave? Oh, yes, see you can. You too can push up to this bridgehead. Replenishing all the way, because this is all friendly territory. So you're all going to move up. You are going to siege Vilnius. You chats push on towards Minsk, which is again fragments. Can Rune Almquist leave Novgorod? You can. Do you push on to Smolensk? I mean, that would be a precipitous collapse of the enemy. Uh, maybe stand up threat, but not necessarily quite in there. Cool. You're going to hold. Actually, you don't have to hold now. Well, you... Eh, no, they, if they get beaten, they'll probably go this way. Maybe up into the, this mess up here. But, if we fight... We may well fight after... Oh, this could be a significant engagement. Congratulations, Mr. Lundberg. You gain the honour of... Well, to me, if, they, if these guys get pushed this way, that's, again, not so bad either. But it's just... Oh, actually, it's just those two armies. Um, even though this episode is a bit short, I am going to call the episode here because uh, that's a lot of battles to be doing in one go. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I will see you next time for yet more grinding against the Russians. Although, to be honest, we've probably got, not got that many episodes left in this campaign. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed.